Good morning, Soul Tribe, or good evening, or good night, wherever you may be. I hope you guys are having a great day. So I've had some questions on like chakra centers and clearing chakras and different stuff like that. So, you know, God said in the beginning, let there be light. So we're, we're light first. So um, these light centers that we have in our bodies, we're definitely affected by them. Um, like I said, a lot of people like to remove them and do different stuff. And that's all perfect, well and good, because your original source light is your column light of spirit light. And it's not attached to the chakras. So I completely understand that. But while in the human body, we do have these chakras and um, clearing them and keeping them in in a state to where you're more connected to your your spirit than you're connected to the ego that's it's it's kind of it's it's as powerful in its effect almost so you know i thought i found a great little clearing chakra thing that i found with from archangel michael through the golden promise by rona herman and i thought this was just a great little exercise and it kind of gives a basic energy of the different chakras and what they do and um, I thought I would just read this for you guys because I've had questions on it and what you know how to, what's a good way to clean clear the chakras and I thought this was just a really kind of a, a good one to do so I hope you guys enjoy it and I will begin so okay this is a time that excitement is building within all of us it's the stirring of humanity and it's the earth and it's stirring from the very depths of our collective soul memory we are now beginning to get down to the core of physical existence this is a monumental critical period of time and now we need to take time for, for some introspection and some clearing reviewing the trials and the tests of your life to see if you were able to perceive patterns almost as if a tapestry has been painted a theme if you look deeply enough you will begin to see that these are tied to many of the supposed hardships or the lessons but these are the secrets of your masterhood your life's purpose your release from the wheel of karma the gift of a state of grace is awaiting you. But first, we must remove the wrappings and the ties that conceal the gift. Know that many of the old ways will no longer work. And we cannot send out negative or unloving thoughts into the ethers and have them come back years later or even in another lifetime often given the impression that they do not have power or repercussions oh no my dear friends the circle of thought energy is almost instantaneous within hours days weeks or at most a few months whether it is a claim of your rightful heritage of abundance, love, and joy, or projecting feelings of unworthiness, hate, or judgment, your thought forms speed out from you and gather like energy and swiftly, like a dynamic boomerang, magnify them and return them to you. No longer will you be able to deny the core essence of your true self, both your Christ self and the part of your core that down through the ages has impacted into a knot of negative memory and experience. Both are clamoring to be acknowledged and to be brought forth into your consciousness to the light of awareness. In order for you to claim your divinity, you must first Freely love the painful, rejected, and denied parts of your own self that are creating all the discomfort and chaos both within and without your body and your external reality. This impacted energy has memory and it creates multiple sensations of discomfort and confusion. 
Let's now give ourselves the opportunity of taking an internal vacation, an inner journey. Begin to see yourself firmly anchored to the core of Mother Earth and surround yourself in a magnificent pillar of light sent forth from your divine I Am Presence. Start at the root chakra or energy center which is red and it is at the base of the spine. And as if you see a beautiful crystal cell of light, allow yourself to be completely submerged with the memories of this center. What are you feeling about survival, self-preservation, scarcity? Do you feel worthy? of the abundance of your Mother Earth and what she has to offer. Allow the feelings to flow. Allow sadness, frustration, fear. Acknowledge them. And when you're ready, state, I now release you into pure Christ-like substance. You no longer serve me. See the beautiful cell of light that holds your consciousness. Divide and enfold these energies, clearing them as they are transformed through love into shining perfection. Or, since they have memory and choice, just as you do, if they choose not to embrace the light, see them float free of all of your body forms, the physical, etherical, emotional, mental, and out into the ethers to follow their own path. They will choose the light another time, along with those that choose not to do it now. They are not yet ready to move forward. Bless them in their choice and know that it is perfect. As we now bring our attention to the second chakra, allow the energies of the ego desire body to come forth. This is the sacral center. It is orange and it is right above the, the pubic bone beneath the navel. So this second chakra is filled with the ego desire body to come forth. It possesses sexual love energy passion, emotions, and your beliefs about giving and receiving. These energies come from a sense of lack outside of yourself. They are most often imbalanced, focused on physical attraction or gratification without the thought of mental, emotional, or spiritual compatibility. They are the projection of emotion outwardly towards someone else in hopes they can accomplish what you do not think that you are capable of. Being loved and feeling worthy of love. All the other games of desire, the ability to give and receive, and relationships in one or every form, they stem from the same deep-seated need to love and be loved. Why not begin a love affair with yourself? Make a contract with your soul's desire and affirm that you will begin to work with your intuitive nature instead of your instinctual nature. Begin to search for that which brings you into harmony with your true self, your divine self. Then you will reach out for relationships and interactions with those who also project a sense of wholeness. And there will be a compatibility in all facets of expression, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. For this is a soul-infused relationship 
not an ego-based relationship that is doomed to failure. In each instance, follow the same visualization of merging with the energies and the sensations of this vortex. See the beautiful sphere of light infusing love into this chakra, into this energy wheel until it is clear of all specks of darkness or negativity and repeat the same statement each time. I now release you into pure Christ light substance. You no longer serve me. When that feels complete, bring your consciousness again upwards into the solar plexus, which is centered around the navel. Its color is yellow. Start to look at it in releasing all the little flecks of dark energy, this impacted energy in this area that has led you to give away your power. It has made you fearful of rejection or installed feelings of inadequacy. All of the negative emotions of inferiority created by the ego are buried here. Let them go, precious ones. Claim your power once more. Claim your creativity, your uniqueness, and your divinity. The solar plexus is one of the great energy centers of the future. From here, you send forth great streams of light that you access in greater and greater amounts. And then, along with the other light warriors, you will send them forth and infuse the earth with this magnificent gift of enlightenment. Bless, heal, and release all of the energies that are buried within the solar plexus so that you can once again use this center in the way that it was meant to be used. When you are ready, say, I release you into pure Christ light substance. You no longer serve me. And when this energy center feels clear, move your consciousness again upwards towards the heart chakra. The heart chakra is where it is located in the heart. Its color is green. As we move into the heart chakra, we can sense a shield, a shield that we have placed in our etheric body to protect us from pain and suffering that we have experienced down through the ages. This thereby shutting off the flow of love and light, both to you and through you. This is the area that builds and maintains your life force. This allows you to access and project the love of the Creator. It is now time to dissolve this barrier. Please, beloved, it is no longer needed. Allow the wondrous threefold flame to blaze within your heart as spiritual armor and insignia, identifying you as a light warrior. Allow this gift from the Creator to be your shield, and you will begin to resonate with the love compassion, wisdom, power, and will of the Creator. And never again will you have to suffer the pain and the anguish of being cut off from the essence of your spirit. As you realize the restrictions from the heart, it will trigger the thymus gland which will once again begin to send out its life-giving hormones throughout your body so that you can rejuvenate and maintain your youthfulness and vitality. Aging, atrophy, atrophy, debilitation, and death are a result of being cut off from the life force of your divine self. 
as you feel the center is clear, again state, I release you into pure Christ light substance. You no longer serve me. And after I say that, I like to say thank you. Thank you for the experience. And I send you gratitude. Again now, move your awareness up into the throat. The throat chakra is located in the throat area and its color is blue. Start to sense and feel the restrictions and the congestion that has taken place there. Sense all of the untruths that are clogging your vocal cords or all the times that you have not been able to speak your truth that got stuck in the throat, creating a tightness, irritation, a coughing, or problems with the thyroid gland. This is another important power center, dear ones, and it is time that we begin to exert our power. Speaking our truth, our spiritual integrity with discernment and discretion, with non-judgment and compassion. As you exercise this divine right, the thoughts will begin to flow from the deep recesses of your brain and you will begin to use your intuitive nature and wisdom once more. You will say exactly the right thing at the perfect time and you will know when to be silent. Both are equally important. So many of you have never spoken about the things that are, that are buried deep within your consciousness that have the greatest importance and meaning for you because you are afraid of rejection. It is time to speak and to claim your truth. And it is possible if you will clear the pathway of your throat chakra of all the old impacted energies, let them go. They have served you well as you have traveled through the lessons of the material density and separation. Release them and once again move into harmony with spirit. And when you feel that energy center is clear, I release you into pure Christ light substance. You no longer serve me. I thank you. Now, move your attention again upwards into the most important area of the third eye, the brow. The color of the third eye is indigo. It's a blue-purple color, and it's located right here. Now, begin to sense and remove the film from your clear seeing clairvoyance. See the pituitary gland within the center of the brain begin to pulsate and open like a lotus flower, sending out vitalizing energy to the lower brain reconnecting the right and the left hemispheres and activating those areas that have atrophied from misuse. This will increase your intuitive nature and bring wisdom and peace of mind as you begin to access and interact with your higher self and eventually fully connecting to the divine I am presence. Release the concepts of duality and begin to integrate the masculine and feminine energies, the power and the will and the dynamics of the father with the love and the compassion and the creative nurturing aspects of the mother. Release what no longer serves you into the light and when you feel this center is clear. State, I release you into the pure Christ light substance. You no longer serve me, and I thank you. 
And when that is complete, bring your attention again upward. And now we focus upon the crown. The crown chakra is at the top of the head and its color is typically violet, a brilliant plasma purple. It is also known as the violet flame. This gateway is to the higher dimensions, to your divine self and the infinite. See this center open wide and the pineal gland begin to pulsate and revitalize the upper brain as it activates your clear hearing, Claire audience. Know that you are capable of building the bridge, this pathway of light that will assist you in accessing the inspiration, divine wisdom, and spiritual will of Creator through your own I am presence. Release all the restrictive energies. Release the fear-based emotions and the illusions that have kept you captive for so many ages. And as you feel that this center is clear, state, I release you into pure Christ light substance. You no longer serve me and thank you. And as you feel that this is clear and clean, as you feel clear and balanced, as you've balanced these seven lower chakras, there now awaits for you the gift of five additional energy centers that lead you onward and upward to your higher soul consciousness and the higher realms. This is the path of ascension, dear ones. Reach out for the gift that is being offered to you, the greatest gift of all, the gift of wholeness and divinity. And the five that they speak of are the other bodies that you have, etherical, casual, mental, spiritual, and etheric, or astral. So those are the other five powers, and you're connecting to that when you're, when you're clearing these chakras from stuff that you just do not need. So clear them and clean them, and as you do, you will expound your energy field. It, it expands and it gets bigger, and connect to the center column of light that is you because that's your source light code. All the other stuff is on top of, and it was not first. So remember, the organic source within you is column of light, pillar, and it is powerful, and, and it, 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 it's the all that is within you. So before you finish this most profound exercise, please let us take you one step further. Sense your inner essence as it moves up through the higher dimensions and it connects with the galactic core. Firmly anchor that crystal gem of your own essence into the fiery core as it draws on the rarefied love and light of creation. You are now anchoring through your divine presence to the pulsations of the galaxy. You are also anchoring firmly to the core of your planet Earth. Feel the power of this connection. This is the column of power of which you descended into the physical world those many eons ago. And now, as you re-anchor this column of light, it will be your means of ascension once more into the higher realms of illumination. It does not mean that you have to bring a close to your earthly sojourn. This means that you will have access to your divine birth a love connection with your divine oversoul and thus creator. Begin to share with each other the gifts that really matter, dear ones, which is love, understanding, support, non-judgment, encouragement, and most of all, your joy and bliss. The expensively wrapped packages 
are a poor substitute for the real thing, a loving soul and a compassionate spirit. You are loved and cherished most profoundly. I am Archangel Michael. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, like I said, use your intuition and your own guidance. But I thought that was out of the many things that I've seen for chakra clearing and balancing. That was one of the most beautiful that I, I've, I've seen. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you like it, use it. I know I'm go I use it once in a while when I meditate to, to get me into a field of resonance and clear the chakras and make sure my column is straight and strong and everything else is non-interference. So that's a beautiful way that I use to connect. So I just thought I would share it with you guys and if it resonates, great. If it doesn't, that's okay too. But I just wanted to give some tools so especially for people who really don't have any understanding of what these energy centers do. I wanted to kind of give some kind of a tool for those who want information and want some way to kind of identify with this system and how it's working in the body. So I hope it helps those who need it and I hope it helps those who enjoy it and want to use it. And I love you all. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you may be and namaste and thank you. Much love Soul Tribe. Talk to you soon. Bye.